one step at a time. Yeah, modern controls really help me understand the character and how to play classic controls. I mean, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, but Street Fighter VI being my very first Street Fighter game <laughs> kind of ever, uh, I was pretty intimidated because I, I come from other fighting games like Mortal Kombat, Injustice, and others, and Street Fighter was always a bit intimidating because it had six attacks, and I was like, yikes, six attacks. You want me to do light, medium, heavy punch, light, medium, heavy kick, and then like, implement that in my gameplay with your specials and then your specials also have now three modes because you have three different attacks per like punch and kick it was it was just a lot and like a lot of you i'm sure that even street fighter 6 is probably your first street fighter and street fighter 6 did a great thing called modern controls which i did a whole video on explaining how modern controls work so if you want that explanation video up here but for those that know how modern works you kind of have one special button for all your special moves and then you have you only have three attacks light medium heavy which is really cool because it's kind of like for lack of better words it just simplifies the attack system for street fighter and makes it a little bit more welcoming and a little bit less intimidating and what's really cool about that is you could just learn modern and just like never go back you could just learn modern for the whole game for every character you don't have to ever switch you could just take the character you play as at face value and say okay i mean i know i'm missing out on a little bit of damage for my specials and supers and i know that i might not have all of my you know attacks and all my special moves but i'm just gonna accept the character as is and use what i got for their modern kit and that's totally cool like a lot of people really do that a lot of people take that and go okay I got these specials. I'm not gonna think about what I'm missing out on. I'm just gonna think about my character and this is what I got. And that's kind of how I was for a little bit there. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. But the whole point of this video is again to help explain to you modern controls introduced me to the game, introduced me to the character and how the characters work, the timing on the combos, what can go into what when it comes to normals, going into other normals and, and so on. It just really helped me get a grasp on all that a lot easier than I was expecting, which is great. So now I can play Manon on modern and have no real issues. I love her. She's Great, she's my main character. But who I'm talking to here is either A, all the new players, all the new beginners in Street Fighter 6, or even some longtime vets that maybe need a refresher on the moveset and the timing for the game, use modern. Just just use modern, get in there, get a good introduction to the character, how the game works, how the character works, the timing for your combos. Understand, oh, this back heavy, you know, punch can go into my down special. You don't know that in classic that's, you know, down forward punch you don't know that but you just know that that's your down special and you know that you can go from back heavy down special and that goes together very well that's the point of modern it tells you hey you can do this this you can do this special you can do this special into this special it just helps you understand the character and like what goes into what now if you ever want to switch to classic this is what you want to do go to classic and say i don't know what any of my moves do because i'm used to playing modern i know i got light kick medium kick heavy kick okay that's cool i got live punch medium punch heavy punch i got these moves where are my specials how do i do them like most fighting games are going to be you know more of a down forward down back down back kick or whatever it may be they're like typical other fighting game specials you know mortal kombat injustice whatever but i can go oh my down forward kick that's my back special or forward special from modern oh that makes sense okay and again as you know classic you have more options you have basically the character's full kit you have all their specials and you don't have that damage debuff on your specials and super so you're doing a bit more damage which is always welcome and here's the main example that i want to give to anybody watching this applies to any character let's go ahead and take manon's uh, command grab for an example so she has just like just like any character any special you have three options light medium heavy so our light command grab there we go you see down there that is nine frames on startup our medium command grab is seven and our heavy is four so our heavy command grab it's, it doesn't do more damage but it comes out quicker but the con is it has less range on it. so we gotta be pretty dang close to actually hit that whereas we could be a bit further away and do our light command grab and still hit that but it's a bit slower on startup now you could do that input in modern controls you can do the forward down back punch in modern controls and get that frame data no problem but if you don't you're just pressing that you know special button so let's go back to modern okay we're in modern controls here i'm gonna do her special you see here we get the four startup so we can go ahead and assume we're doing the heavy version of that so if you don't learn how to do her other inputs you're never gonna have that longer range on her command grab so if we're here and i do it it's not gonna hit i'm doing the close range version of her move so essentially it's kind of limiting you on what you could potentially be doing with Manon. It's saying, it's saying hey if you want to command grab no 
problem, but you have to be in their face. We're not gonna give you the further range option. And again, you might be okay with that. You might say, that's fine. I don't really care about the other two. I just want that close range version, no problem. In Classic Manon, we have access to this special move, which is your down back medium kick. You don't have that in modern. You have the down back light and you can do the down back heavy. You can't do the down back medium. And that's a great move because look how far of a range we have. We get in their face. It's not quite full screen, but if we really want to get in there, we get in there. The down back light version doesn't have that kind of range and it's a decent anti-air. So if they want to jump in, playing classic, we have that first option for an anti-air and we have our down forward kick, which is great. It just gives you the full character's kit. And first of all, I was still a bit intimidated going to classic from modern because I was like, I still have a lot of attacks. I got my punches. I got different versions of specials. I'll tell you right now, the timing on some is a bit harder to get used to. So that back heavy into this grab, it's a bit weird on the timing, like right there. See how I just got it? You gotta learn a little bit on the timing for certain links for, you know, normals going into specials, but but I know that those moves go together because I played modern and they showed me, hey, you can do these two moves together. So I know they go together, so all I gotta do is practice, practice, practice. And before I know it, I'm doing it no problem. I'm even doing it in combos now, which is great. And I only know how to do this because modern taught me. And now I'm just transferring that memory and I'm just transferring that how do I do this kind of thing in the classic. If I'm a little further away, I can do my long range command grab now. I can still do the same combos that I wanted to do now. It's just a bit tight on the timing, just a bit, just a smidge. And I'm doing more damage now. So it's kind of a trade off. Do I want to have the flexibility of classic and have all of their kit and do a bit more damage, but spend a bit more time in the lab, spend a bit more time understanding the timing on all my moves. Even then I dropped it, see, dropped it again, dropped it again. So I'm just gonna sit here and practice. When do I need to put that input in? There we go. So I gotta wait a little bit. I'm doing it too fast. See, now I learn. Okay, wait just a second, Alex, and surely you'll get it down, no problem. There we go. All this to say a couple things. Modern, as I said, helped me learn classic, which I think is great. I still have my other combos to drag you in. I have my heavy, heavy. Manon's got pretty good target combos to work with anyways. And again, using modern, I now know what goes into what. I have more special move options. I do more damage. And even with all this said, if you watch this entire video, you if, if you're a modern player, you don't have to switch to classic. I'm not here to sell you on classic. I'm here to tell you that it's possible and if you do learn modern it makes learning classic way easier and that's coming from somebody who literally did it this is my first street fighter game ever i was intimidated by classic now i'm loving it but i would never have done it had i not played modern first so if you're a new player man i i recommend it guys it's it's been awesome you can still meter burn all your specials you can still do specials into super combos Let me know down below what control inputs do you use in Street Fighter 6 and why. If you play modern, are you gonna try classic? If you play classic, are you gonna try a modern? Let me know down below. In your fighting game journey, make sure to take it one step at a time and I will see you in the next one.